This video is sponsored by Athletic Greens. Now Ferraris can be expensive to maintain, but let's face it, that's not exactly shocking news to anyone. However, over the years, I've often found that with most jobs, there's a way of saving money. Today's job is all gonna be done back on the driveway in true Rattarossa style. And it's all to do with the brake system on my Stradale. Now the Stradale uses the same carbon ceramic brake system as the Ferrari Enzo. And well, it's notoriously expensive and also it suffers from a common problem and it's all to do with the calipers, especially the fronts. Now what happens is the pistons, so it's got six pistons in here, they end up seizing, they pit and they seize in the calipers. So what you get is uh, the brakes are really starting to bind and they make a horrendous noise and they don't work properly. And that is exactly what is happening with this car. So today we're gonna fix it. Now, as I said, anything with the word Ferrari equals expensive. For example, the pads on this carbon ceramic brake system for the Challenge Stradale cost over 700 pounds. That's a thousand dollars just for the front pads. Now, the problem we've got on this car is actually to do with the calipers. Now, those pistons that are seized, you can't buy those separately. You can't buy the seals. You have to replace the whole caliper. And to do that on this car, well, if I have to do all four, we are talking between 10 and 15,000 pounds to do that. And that is just ridiculous. So today we're gonna to try and find a cheaper solution. Before we do that, let me take you out in the car and we'll show you exactly what's happening. So when I'm driving along, all I can describe it as is the car feels like it's constantly being held back, pulled back. It's just fighting against some kind of binding force there. So I definitely don't have full power. I can basically take my foot off the accelerator without touching the brakes. The car will come to a halt very quickly. The other thing I do notice as well is when I brake heavily on the car, the car just squirrels around basically where those brakes are binding each side. It just sends the car all over the place. And that is extremely dangerous. So we really do need to rectify this one very quickly. But the final test is a simple one. Now, I know the Ferrari is quite heavy, but I should be able to push it at least somewhat by hand. However, watch this. That is my full might, and I can just about budget, and that's because those front brakes are binding pretty badly. Let's go and sort it out. Now, most people think that being a YouTuber is nice and easy. You see a short video and you think that's the extent of it. Unfortunately not, there is a lot of effort that goes into making a YouTube channel, which is why I need to keep my energy levels maintained all day long and my mind in check. And that's where today's video sponsor, Athletic Greens, has really helped me out. Let me show you how. With 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients, it helps boost my energy levels and my mental clarity throughout the day, helping me stay focused on the job without the need of my usual seven cups of coffee. It's also great for my nervous system, my healthy aging, my skin, my hair, and with these simple 12 gram packs, they're really handy to take wherever I need to go. For me though, speed and convenience is the biggest benefit. Just simply eight ounce of water, one scoop, lid on, give it a shake, job done, you're set for the day. And with its vanilla and pineapple flavour, it tastes great, but I'm not the only British car guy using Athletic Greens. My buddy Lewis Hamilton has been using it for years as part of his daily routine. Now, if like me, you want to reap all the benefits of Athletic Greens, then simply head on over to athleticgreens.com slash or click on my link in the description below the video. And if you use my link, you're going to get an extra one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D plus five travel packs extra free with your first purchase. Now I've got to say a massive thanks to Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. Let's head on back to the action. Now we did say we're gonna try and save a bit of money here. Well, we've got a cunning plan. Have a look at this. Okay, so if we come down here, you can see I've got a lovely box of goodies. First of all, we've got a full set of carbon ceramic brake calipers with pads. Uh, these are actually from the 430 scooter here, so the fronts are slightly bigger, rears are exactly the same. So, I've got these very cheap off uh, a good friend of mine, Gary. Um, but we're not gonna be using these 
on my car. These are for a future project. I'll let you guess uh, which one they're going on. Got another set the other day though from eBay uh, over in Germany. And um, well, we got a couple here. We actually got an extra caliper, believe it or not. This is uh, a front one. Now, as you can see here, we have got no pads. But the issue on my car is that these pistons are seizing. So we're going to go into that a little bit later on. But what I did is I got this uh, set. They are the wrong colour. They are red. But that's very easily rectified. We've already sprayed uh, the fronts. I'm only going to be changing the fronts today. We sprayed them yellow. And uh, they are the ones we're going to be using today. This is the rear. Um, so again, a spare one there. It's in my box. So let's jump onto the car and start stripping it down ready to install the new calipers and uh, what we did do is we checked all of these pistons and made sure nothing was seized so both of these front calipers are good these ones came with brake pads as well uh, which like i say that's over 700 pounds just for the brake pads on the fronts here so it's a right bargain and these uh, have got plenty of meat on these pads so um we are going to fit those to this car Okay, so the plan here is quite straightforward. We are literally gonna swap one to my replacement. Um, but what I wanna do in this, at the same time is actually see if I can free up these pistons here. Because like I say, we are gonna actually refurbish these old ones. I'm gonna get a new set of pistons. We're gonna rebuild these and I will use these in the future. There's nothing wrong with them apart from, like I say, they're seized a little bit. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take off the caliper. We're gonna need to take off obviously the disc as well. And uh, what we're going to try and do is push these pistons out somehow and then uh, change the thing. First of all, let's get the old one off. That is literally two bolts. And uh, should. He says. Jeez, man, that's it. Well tight. Ah, man. Super tight. We've got a lot of helicopters at the moment. It's a big, big event going on near me. Okay, that's a good one. Whoa. Um, might have a slight problem here having serious problems with this lower bolt. It does not want to move. It's moving a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. I'm very, very worried about this. Uh, right, I'm gonna heat up the hub. Let's see if I can heat up the hub back here. I need to be really careful, I've got brake lines back there, but I need to somehow heat that bolt. Hold on. Okay, so we have uh, lubed everything up. I've let that settle for a bit. I've also heated up the hub as much as possible, but I am literally not able to get any further with this. I cannot get that thing. It just doesn't want to move. Like seized in there. Uh, okay, let me try. Let me try something else. Let me get something a bit bigger. Okay, so I've got the handle from the uh, trolley jack. I'm going to use this. It's got a hole in the end, big enough to actually slot in. This. We're going to use it as leverage. Okay. Now this is not really recommended, but I'm in a bit of a catch-22 here. This has to be changed. I need to hold it in so we don't round off this thing, otherwise we're in big, big problems. Oh, it's moving a little bit. And it's just biting. That caliper has to come off somehow, and I've heated it up. I've put the uh, penetrating fluid on it. But it's literally seized on there. I'm gonna just have to keep going for it. I'm, I'm like, a quarter of the way out on the bolt anyway so if i go back in we've got the same kind of uh, risk so let's let's carry on let's see what we can do 
one of those days this is a serious problem the bolt has snapped that's our bottom bolt that's our top bolt so we are missing about two-thirds of the thread I knew that was going to be a risk I don't know any other way we could have done that um, sometimes you win sometimes you lose right today we have lost that is a serious serious problem because well I can get the I can get the caliper off now let's get the caliper off and assess the damage oh, I can actually move these off oh man that's how stuck on these pistons are oh mate no I don't want to ruin anything eh? let's take it easy I've still got a solid pipe at the back there. Okay. Let's assess the damage. So caliper's there, that's okay. Top, out, bottom. It's, as you can see, firmly snapped off inside the hub. That is a serious problem. Uh, there is no way I'm gonna be able to drill that out here uh, either way, I don't think it's going to hap happen on the car. This is all going to have to come apart. The hub is going to have to come off. Oh uh, dear. Okay guys, so a bit of an update for you. Broken bolt, good bolt, bit of a tricky situation here today because I really needed to get that. I can't drive the car, it's lethal. Uh, fortunately I've done it on the driveway so it buys me a little bit of time. I can just leave the car. So. Gonna be replacing all the bolts anyway as a precaution. They're not cheap, they're like 15 pounds each. Um, but here's my options. I can either try and get the hub off and get the old thread uh, or the old bolt drilled. Now I think, because that was so, so tight anyway, I've got a feeling the thread on the hub was no good. So we could get it re-tapped, but I have a little bit of an extra issue here. I'm gonna be filming with this car in two or three days time and um well i'm up against time now so i'm actually thinking maybe just replace the hub so i'm going to have a quick look to see if i can find a hub if i can get one cheap i'm going to order it up okay guys finally some good news i have managed to find a replacement hub second hand but it's 200 pound i think for the cost versus the amount of hassle it's going to be worth it so i've ordered that up and I've done that as a priority shipping, so it'll be here tomorrow. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the rest of this, get it all ready to go in place. So our carbon disc there, just move that out of the way. Just leave everything up here. Everything wants to fight me today. Same problem. One, two, three. Okay. Now we just got all the pipes on the back here just disconnect and it should come off so a little bonus job while we got everything attached to the system so all our brake lines on um, I've just freed up everything but what I'm going to try and do is just push these pistons out on the old caliper it's going to make my life a lot easier let me show you I'm going to fire the car up pump the pedal a little bit So we've got some, the hub's still all attached, there's no way, so you can see 
that one hasn't moved that one has that one has nothing's moved on this side here so try something else as well before we uh, give up on this one there we go all right I can drip in there now let's move all this Okay, let me attempt to explain what is going on here. So this is our old caliper off the car. You can see our six pistons. You can see these ones are really kind of gummed up in there. And uh, what we're gonna do here, so our brake line comes in here, flows around the circuit. These are our bleed nipples for the brake. This is our bar that goes between the two chambers. And what we're gonna do here, so in here normally is our brake line with our fluid. So when we pop the foot pedal, puts the uh, pressure through the fluid and pumps this up. What I'm going to do instead, it's going to be a bit messy, but I'm going to use this airline, which will have the same effect. Now, watch these pistons as, as I do this. I'm going to do it nice and slow. So you can see two pistons have come out. Now, if I give this full power, the others should come out no problem at all. So as you can see, no matter what I do here, there is no movement. So what we've had happening on this caliper is I've had two of six pistons working. So that is a major, major problem. All right, so to just give you a demonstration, this is the other one that is going on the car. Now watch the pistons on this. Tiny little bit sticky, that one. But other than that, these are all good. If you look at our control arms here, top suspension arm all okay. The joint here is good, but the bottom one, look at this. It's all split open and very rough and notchy. So, every cloud has a silver lining. Now, a while ago, I managed to get a lot of those uh, suspension components really cheap. Now, I replaced the one on this side about two years ago. This one I never got around to. Look at that, brand new one. And so, like I say, every cloud, silver lining, we're gonna replace that at the same time. We've got all of the, uh, the joint there. So we're gonna put that on there, fit everything else. And then this side should all be very nice indeed. Okay, let's put this back in place. Make sure. There we go. Got to make sure that spacer goes in correctly. That's better. Well guys, they don't always go to plan. This one is going from bad to worse. So we have got our hub solution on order. We got the new lower suspension arm in place. That is a bonus job. Um, however, however, um, I had a little look around the whole of the suspension system and well, I think we need to order up some more parts. So first of all, we have got our drop link on this side of the car has uh, it's got a little bit of wear on it. it doesn't feel great so while we're in there we may as well change one of these but more to the point we have both of the uh, track rod ends you can see here the the rubber has perished but the bearing the main bit the bearing is also feeling a little bit notchy on both sides there so we need to order up both of those I don't know how much they are at the moment hopefully we can save a bit of money um, talking about that I did start the video off saying uh, there's always a way of saving money in this case I might have got that a little bit wrong it's gone the opposite way um, so the moral of the story is uh well I'll, I'll let you come up with some morals of this story in the comments below uh the funnier the better uh in the next video though there is one thing i am going to be trying to do and that is all to do with our carbon ceramic brake caliper with the seized pistons now i cannot stand the fact that this would normally just go in the bin um if it went to ferrari they don't do anything with it 
Uh, so we are gonna try a little solution, which someone told me might work on this, and uh, I think it could be quite genius, involving one of these, a grease gun. So we're gonna try that out in the next video. Um, in the meantime, guys, don't forget, you can check out what I get up to on these things on a daily basis over on my socials and also please do check out our video sponsor athletic greens i'm going to be drinking this in just a short while that's uh, my daily dose and uh i'll see you very shortly in the next one ciao for now